Let us take a look at Twitter once again. Folks, it is still halted. I told you we will keep an eye on this story, of course. Tesla uh, CEO Elon Musk posted an SEC filing moments ago indicating that he will go through with the deal to buy Twitter at his original price of $54.20 a share, total of about $40, $41 billion. Right now, Twitter is at $47.93. We are expecting that maybe this hour or what's left of it, 40 minutes, that it will start trading. Stay with me. We are going to keep a very close eye on this, let you know the second it happens. Uh, but there you go. You have one billionaire investor drama to another. Here, Ray Dalio hanging officially up his hat with Bridgewater Associates. Dalio has given control back over to the firm he built out of his New York City apartment all the way back in 1975. He built it up to be the largest hedge fund in the world. All this as the billionaire investor has had a change of heart about cash. So we always are interested to hear what Ray Dalio says about how he's investing in the markets. Well, just ahead of this news that he was stepping down, he tweeted, quote, the facts have changed and I've changed my mind about cash as an asset. I no longer think cash is trash. Dalio said with the Fed hiking interest rates and shrinking its balance sheet, he now believes cash is the new neutral, neither good nor bad. But what's he really saying here as the markets hold on to another strong rally second day in a row? But is this a bear market rally? Is this the real thing? Let's bring in billionaire investor David Rubenstein, who spoke to all of these guys. In fact, Dalio has an entire chapter in David's new book, How to Invest Masters on the Craft. The Carlyle Group co-founder and co-chairman David Rubenstein joins me now. We've got Dalio. We've got Elon Musk. Uh, let me start with Elon, though, at the moment. You just had an opportunity on a private setting to talk with him. What are your thoughts about him? I'm calling it throwing in the towel. He has to buy Twitter, well, and he probably realized that. I don't know if I would call it that. I would say he's a very smart person. I spent some time with him recently. He's, as they say, playing uh, chess when the rest of us are playing checkers. He really operates at a different level. My impression is that he thinks he can add some real value to, to uh, Twitter. He thinks he has some changes he wants to make. And I think he enjoys the intellectual challenge of it. Uh, and, and running two uh, companies is not enough for him, I guess, suppose. So I think he could run the company. He didn't say he wanted to be permanent CEO, but I think he'll have a fair, about, a fair amount of impact on it. And I think he really regards it as a challenge. And I think he, he, I think he feels he can get it done in a relatively short period of time and can make changes that will make the company worth more. Well, um, I, I, I understand what you're saying. He is absolutely brilliant. He is playing chess on certain levels when the rest of us are barely playing go fish with the cards. But I would say I think he underestimated his power in the world where he thought he could just back out of this deal once his own net worth was beginning to fall. It was a very uh, mercurial decision, I'm quite sure, that he made to buy it. And then suddenly when he couldn't back out of it, Chancery Court is, is a pretty sobering possibility. Well, normally uh, in these kind of transactions, you agree to a breakup fee, and if you don't complete the transaction, you are obligated for the breakup fee. Mm -hmm. This is a rare case where he not only agreed to a breakup fee, but he also agreed to what's called specific performance, that he basically said he would go ahead no matter what. And that is a very difficult thing to get around legally. Uh, there have been very few cases where p companies have been forced to go ahead, but there are some. And I think he probably was told by his lawyers that getting around this would, might be difficult. Uh, let's get to Ray Dalio and that news. Um, it's time. You know, he founded it in 1975, built it up to the biggest hedge fund ever, uh, and now he is officially stepping down. But he says cash is no longer trash. You have a whole chapter in your new book, How to Invest, on Ray Dalio. Uh, where do you stand on what he's saying there? Is he saying hold on, the, hold dry powder till these lower lows come in, if you can interpret that from what you know of Ray? Well, what he was said, cash is trash, which he said, you know, a year or so ago, mm -hmm. he was just saying interest rates are so low that if you own cash, you're basically going to not get much of a return. Now, with interest rates higher, if you own cash or treasury bills, it's not as bad as it once was. It's still not the investment that he thinks is as good as investing in his fund. But he's a very, very smart person. And I think what he's really announcing today is not that he's giving up investing on behalf of the people who invest with uh, Bridgewater. He's still going to be, if not the CIO, the co-CIO, uh, which means he's going to make the investments or help make the investments. He's just not going to take care of the executive responsibilities of managing all the people at Bridgewater.
Before we go, really quickly, David, with this How to Invest book, um, the most important message that people will get from it. The most important message is uh, if you, you're not a professional investor, uh, get somebody who really knows what they're doing to manage your money, and I think you'll be better off. Trying to beat the markets as an a average investor is not easy to do. And also, I would say that it's very important to recognize that when markets are cratering and going down, that's not the best time to sell. It's maybe the best time to buy. The average mis person makes the most common mistake in investing. When the markets are going up, they're buying. When the markets are going down, they're selling. Yeah. And you should probably do the reverse. David Rubenstein, it's a pleasure to have you. The book is called How to Invest. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Twitter shares still halted. We're coming right back.